In this recording we're going to go through the basic settings of the Nikon before you start using it in the field. So we'll go down to settings after we've pushed menu. You can also push the number corresponding to the menu item. Enter and then we'll start with angle and work our way through. So the angle should be on zenith. You can push down resolution one second. Horizontal is azimuth. Enter. Then we can do distance. You can just push number two. Scale should be one. And then you can turn your corrections on or off depending on your project requirements. We're going to turn the sea level on. Enter. Curvature and refraction. Then go down to coordinates. The order should be easting, northing, and your Z. And we want to label them Y, X, Z. Azimuth zero must stay on north, even though we're in the southern hemisphere. Power save. This saves your battery, so you can set the main unit to turn off after a certain period of time. Um, and then once you start using it, it'll come on. The same with the EDM. It's normally fine to leave it on three minutes or half a minute. And the same with sleep. Then we can go to COM. The external communication format is Nikon. We recommend 9600, even though it can go a bit faster. That's a stable one. And remember to take note of these COM settings for your other downloading units. Stakeout. This adds a prefix to the points, like a thousand. You can set your units here. We want degrees, meters, Celsius, and hectopascal or millimeters mercury. The recording mode, if you're recording internal, then the settings stay on internal. If you're using a data collector like a Scion or a TSE2, then you should change it to COM. We're going to leave it on internal. And then others, XY display, when you call up a coordinate, that's how long it displays the coordinates for. If you push it enter then it means you have to push enter before they disappear. Fast is fine. You can have a second unit. If you're working with multiple units. Uh, this is just the beep sounds when you push the buttons. And then the code input mode is we normally want it as ABC for your spot shots. Here you can put the owner's detail so you can identify your machine. Note there on the left where it said A, if you push mode it changes to a number one. So by using mode you can change between alphanumeric and numeric keys. Backspace is the left button and then we can start typing the name. It's much like a cell phone where you have to push the button multiple times to get to the different letters. Just going to put our company name in. Optron. Just looking for a space over here. Space is number three, three times. Optron Durban. Push enter. And those are the basic settings.